A few moments later Bakya has been used in the century here in the Philippines, minimally in the pre-colonial era and widely in the Spanish era in the 16th century to 18th century. At the year 1930s to 1970s, here the shoe was being developed. Gibson Shoe Factory is one of the percent Filipino shoe manufacturing company from Marikina. Valentino Shoe's heritage and legacy stretch back and since 1932. El Pido Valentino established his first shoe store at the flourishing area of Carriedo in Manila City. In the year 1980s to 2000, Filia, derived from the Latin word which means daughter, it is a Pimer's latest fashion shoe label in the Philippines today. In 1977, Lito Lopez shoemaker, craftsman, and Filipino entrepreneur opened a shoe store named Centro Bill, a center of leather at Cobao Shoe. So guys, I'm going to show you the different things or materials that was used to make a shoe by the
off. So as part of the receipt, you will see the different kinds of shoes. But this is not for the other shoes that we can see. This is the collection of Imelda Barnes shoes. And these are more than 800 uh, pair of shoes. However, these shoes are made from different countries and different places. And it costs a billion dollars. And uh, these are luxurious time shoes. And also, these are of the Iron Barnes. The sought-out section of the Shoe Museum is the former Philippine First Lady Imelda Marcos Shoe Collection. Imelda Marcos came under fire when people learned that she had 3,400 plus pair of shoes alongside her multi-million wardrobe and jewelry collection that she had accumulated during the two-decade regime of her husband, former President Ferdinand Marcos at that time when the country already had huge debt and a good population under poverty. Her collection composes of Marquina made shoes and well-known designer brands like Figaramo, Dior, Chanel, and Prada. The museum has a dedicated area for her famous shoe collection of 800 pairs. The Marquina Shoe Museum was conceived in 1998 under the leadership of Mayor Bayani F. Fernando. The museum was built with the aim of becoming an important venue for nurturing the historical values of the country's shoe industry since Marquina is known as the shoe capital of the Philippines. Marquina City was given the title shoe capital of the Philippines because of its notable shoe industry. It was and still is the biggest manufacturer of shoes in the Philippines producing almost 70% of shoes manufactured in the country. It is only fitting that it has a museum full of shoes and houses the rich shoe history of the city. The Shoe Museum houses the largest pair of shoes in a museum in the country. It is located at J.P. Rizal Street, Marquina City, near the Our Lady of the Abandoned Paris Church and you can easily ask any locals to point you to the direction. The museum is open every Friday to Wednesday every 8 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. with a 50 pesos entrance fee collected upon entering.